see some ass, I wanna see some cash Keep them dollars coming, and that's gonna make me dance And that's gonna make me dance And that's gonna make me dance Thank you so much for watching the Angelic TV Where we talk about everything, and when I say everything, girl <laughs> Story time is a collab Like, you know how you normally collab be like with two people? Nah Mm -mm, no, it's not with two people. A quadruple collab with Keisha Anderson, Unique Terche, and Miss Monster Boss from Miss Monster Boss TV, honey. I see booty yeah. shaking, booty, um, titties bouncing, all that stuff, and something was missing. The main thing was missing in this strip club. The main thing. You wanna know what made me irritate y'all? Hey y'all, it's Miss Monster Boss of Miss Monster Boss TV. I am truly honored to be collabing with these girls. And I would love it for you guys to come over to my channel and check out my story time on my first strip club experience. Hope to see you there. So, Naja goes to the stage and they sit her in a chair and Biggie and Small start getting buck wild, y'all. Um, I can't remember which one it was, but I think it was Small. Small starts giving Biggie oral sex. And y'all, when I say I had to clench my seat, I was like, are y'all hey, seeing this? Hey, subscribers. My name is Unique Crochet, and I am a lifestyle vlogger here on YouTube. I wanted to just invite y'all over to come and check out my crazy story time about my first strip club experience ever. It was not what I expected it to be, y'all. So, yeah. Definitely come on over to my channel and check my video out after you watch this and the leak. And let me know in my comment section if you're coming from her channel. Hope to see some of y'all there. Feel free, feel free, what? No, don't feel free. You must, must, you must go to each and every one of their channels and check out their video, their version of this, and also subscribe to their channel and tell them that Miss Angelique from Miss Angelique TV sent you because like, we yes, honey, yes. All right, so your girl was 18, like freshly 18, you know what I'm saying, what I'm saying? So I had these two best friends. We decided that we was gonna go to the strip club and we kind of wasn't sure which strip club we wanted to go to. My best friend, my guy best friend, we're gonna give him a name, we're gonna call him. Ricky, he was like, uh, sis, so he used to call me sis all the time. He was like, sis, like, you trying to hit the strip club or not? So we decided we wanted to go to the strip club, all three was not no regular strip club. Not no strip club where you see niggas, dick wings and shit hanging. Nah, I ain't one of them type of strip clubs, but it's a female strip club. So we decided we was gonna go to one of these strip clubs out here in Houston called Harlem Nights. Now, Hopefully I don't get in trouble. I shouldn't get in trouble by saying their names because they ain't shit. Like they ain't nobody. Anyway, ratchet as fuck, like lit. But Harlem Nights here in Houston, because of course I live in Houston, Texas. I get dressed, honey. I had like a, a strapless dress on. It was nice, tight, and fitted, right, wet, wet. And I thought I was all of that, like for real. So we went. The first thing that we noticed when we pulled up was like a man. He was directing. Looked like he was directing traffic or whatever. But really, he was directing us to park in a certain area. And so we pulled on our windows to see what he wanted us to park. Why this nigga said uh? You know, parking twenty dollars, right? My bro looked at me because he would always look at me. I don't know, for whatever reason, he would always just look at me and be like, you paying or not? And I'd be like, wait, why I gotta pay? <laughs> no, I know why. He did it because he was always the one driving because I ain't had no car at the time. So he felt like, uh, bitch, I'm driving, so you're gonna have to pay these tolls, these fees. And I was like, uh, I got 10 on it. I did not want to pay $20 just to park. And I could see if it was like a legit ass parking lot, like, you know, hooded, covered, valet, whatever. No, it was a regular ass fucking parking lot. They just, so we get in the strip club and you know, we hear music or whatever, like wet, bang, wet, wet, bang. And we feel like, okay, it's lit, it's live, and it's motherfucker like they, they doing the motherfucker thing. So maybe we gonna have a good time. Cause I was really nervous cause I didn't, I'd never been to a strip club before. So I was really, really legit ass nervous. But I was just like, let me just see. I mean, yeah, you feel me? So, um, <laughs> we get in there, and the first thing I notice is that this motherfucker strip club small as hell. Like, why is it so small in here? Why is there so many people in here to be so small? Like, it was packed. Do you understand me? I'm really thinking this facility is about to be big because it has so many cars out there. So I'm like, okay, well, this must be like <laughs> live at five type strip club. You feel me? Because like it got so many cores, like a lot of people paying twenty dollars clearly support. And uh, when I get in here, it's small as fuck, and it, everybody is like 
right here like we're here i'm there like no room at all so we like whatever we was trying to look for a seat in the front because they had like a row of sofas or whatever like literally in the front of the stage um i guess basically you kind of have to like catch them seats because why because there was some good ass seat so we was able to catch a couch and the first thing that i see on the stage is bitches with spray bottles and towels wiping the pole so you know me i'm like they got maintenance in this motherfucker. Like, y'all got a whole maintenance to shine the poles. Then I realized the maintenance people ain't have no motherfucking clothes on. So I'm like, okay. This is weird. This, mm, hmm. Okay. The people who clean up, like the janitors and stuff like that, aren't they supposed to have clothes, work clothes on, or whatever? And so <laughs> my bro was like, nah, that's the strippers. Clearly, he had already been to a strip club before. I had, I'm just like confused as hell because I don't, I don't understand, like they dancing there. Like, wait, wait, spray, spray, white, 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 spray. Like, where are you serious? Like y'all really like doing it? Oh, okay, yeah, that's what they do to shine a pose or whatever, make sure they clean. Cause you know, you know, the previous person that was on the pole, their hands probably were sweating and whatever and they don't want that, you know, I was like, oh. Okay, that makes sense, bro. Okay. So, we just watching them strip, stripping for them dollars with dance. With, like, we watching him. Ricky asked me, he was like, so. Are you want me to get you some ones or not? And I said, ones. Ones for who? And he was like, ones for you. Like, the fuck, what you mean? Like, we here at a strip club, so you gotta throw money at the females, at the, at the bitches. So, I'm like, who got to throw what? I just paid $20 to pork, and plus I had to pay to get in the motherfucker. Like, what you mean, one? The bread that I just broke off for the parking and for me to get in, that's their tip that's being thrown. Like, the fuck, I'm cheap as fuck. Like, like I don't throw dollars at bitches. Like, I, I don't. I don't do it. So, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Call me what you want. Hmm. But I don't do it. I love my coin. I can see if I kind of like got in for free or whatever, then I can kind of return the favor. But I didn't get in for free, my nigga. Like, I have to pay to park and I have to pay to get in. Who the fuck throwing dollars at who? Where? So he was like, well, I'm getting ready to give me some ones or whatever. And he in front of the stage throwing dollars and stuff. And I'm like, okay, bro, what's up? Like, I'm, I'm like trying to like cheer him on or whatever. But it was really hard for me to cheer him on because I'm like, bro, you, you wasting your money on these hoes. Like, we don't love these hoes. Like, what, what we doing? I just don't feel like it was necessary to give these girls money. Like, maybe if I'm like rich or something and I have like a private yacht somewhere, then maybe I can your strippers but a bitch ain't on that level right now so uh ain't nobody throwing nothing like some money was like in front of us or whatever and i was looking i was like i wonder if they'll notice kind of like scoop that motherfucker like over here like i wonder if they'll notice <laughs> i'm just playing or am i we you know enjoying the strippers we watching them i look behind me and like behind me was like the dj area where the dj be at and shit and i see my ex like ex why are you here like i'm thinking to myself like why is my ex here you know and i'm honestly i shouldn't have been surprised because the area that we was in was kind of like hot whenever it came to people like him like i really did not want to say hey to this nigga like no i don't want to speak to you damn like shit like what the fuck like why the fuck you looking at me like uh get the fuck out my face like, like for real i really was mad but he ended up coming to approach me and you know i spoke and i was like mm. Hey, y'all know whenever y'all talk to my y'all, but hmm, mm hmm, I'm good. How you doing? Oh, okay. Hmm. You still a cheating ass nigga or not? <laughs> you were, um, I knew it. So he ended up sitting next to me. And he was like, you want a drink? And I'm like, oh. the sound of my voice and all of that changed whenever he asked me if I wanted a drink because your girl was 18 and your girl couldn't drink. And we was talking or whatever. And all of a sudden, a random ass stripper came in front of him and started shaking her ass like, what, what? Like she was really, <laughs> she was really shaking her ass in his face. Like my thing is, we could have been together. What if me and him was really together and I felt offended by her just coming up to him and shaking her ass? Like, what if I would have fought her? What if I would have just fucking just 
gave her a big ass wedgie or some shit because she didn't have a thong on. But <laughs> like I'm just saying, like I felt like I was thinking to myself like that was kind of rude. But uh, then again, strippers you hear at a strip club for a reason to get some ass shooken up on you or some shit. So you know maybe whatever. All up in her drawers and stuff like nigga, wait, why the fuck you gotta do all of that? But and I was just sitting, I was just looking. I'm like, oh okay, mm -hmm. just jumping to the music with my drink in my hand because like wait, I had a drink like. I don't give a fuck what's going on around me because I had a drink. Okay, you feel me? So, so as I'm drinking, I'm you know vibing to the music, jamming, whatever. I feel hot as motherfucking breath on the right side of my neck. I'm like, the fuck? Like it was a whole bitch. I'm saying it was a bitch, and I'm like, do I know you or not? And I realized she had stripper clothes on, so. I was like, oh, my bad. Like, fuck you won't. Like, let me drink my drink. Why the fuck you bothering me? So, the way that my hair was cut at the time, I had, like, kind of like a bob or whatever. So, like, it was it was short, basically. So, she kissed me on my motherfucking neck. Did this bitch just really kiss me on my neck or not? Like, am I tripping or not? Like, she really legit ass kissed me on my neck. And then after she did that, she came around and she came in front of me. That was my first lap dance. Like, she started shaking her hot asshole in front of my face. And, like, I'm just sitting there looking like, I don't know, do I need to grab her waist? Or do I just need to stay like this? Do I need to keep my hands to myself? Like, what the fuck? So, she went from shaking her ass in my face. We become face to face at this point. And she get up on, like, she's on top of me. She kissed me on my neck again. And I'm like, PG, you trying to fuck me or not in this motherfucking club? Like, what the fuck? But then I realized, so it clicked to me. Like, oh, no, I know what the fuck this bitch trying to do. She trying to get a motherfucking tip. She trying to do whatever she got to do so that I could put something in her draw just like my ex did to the other stripper that came no mm -mm, i don't have ones i don't but what i did do I, my brother my bro he was sitting right next to me ricky you know he was sitting right next to me and i was like you got a couple dollars like i, I, I kind of like like uh i didn't say it out loud but he could read my lips and he was like no no i ain't got no and i was like damn so still at this point now that she's on top of me i still don't know what to do what to grab her grab her ass to grab her he hits her waist, like her, her back, like I never been in this position before, so I don't know what to do, okay? Um, <laughs> I guess she got the picture that I was a cheap ass bitch and I wasn't gonna be putting no dollars in her drawers, and she got up and she <laughs> walked the fuck away. I damn near just got a hickey from a motherfucking girl that I don't even know, like she damn near gave me a whole hickey because Cause she wanted some dollars and she thought that it was gonna get her some money, but no bitch. You probably got more money than me. Why the fuck am I gonna put myself in debt because you wanna be a stripper? Like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Mm -mm, no, I'm not gonna do it. Mm -mm. I saw her on the other side of the stage twerking in front of somebody and he had her hands all in that coochie like for real he had his hands and i'm like okay that's what she wanted me to do uh, no i wasn't gonna do that neither was i gonna touch your coochie like ew you've been dancing you've been stripping you hot you sweaty you bothered like mm -mm, no not that sour cooch like sour cooch wear mm -mm. so eventually i noticed that random people started getting on the stage regular people who was coming to the strip club they was getting on a damn pole stripping taking off they motherfucking clothes like where? And then eventually we just left because I'm like, I didn't pay to see random people off the street strip. Like, I didn't pay $20 to park and then I don't know how much money I paid. I think I probably paid $20 to get in too, if I'm not mistaken. But I didn't pay $40 to get in this bitch so I could see somebody off the motherfucking street strip. Like, I need some legit ass strippers shaking that ass. And I didn't even remember getting home. Like, all I remember was pulling up and falling out at the door whenever I came back home or whatever. But needless to say, I never went to that strip club again. Then, like a few weeks after we went there, we heard that they had some type of shooting, a shootout there. So I'm like, okay, that's why I don't need to go back there. Uh huh. Cause it was kind of in the hood. I ain't just gonna lie to you. It was in the hood. Like, but, uh, yeah. So I've only really been to two strip clubs in my life. Both of them was ratchet as fuck. The other one was ratchet, uh, that, mm. And moral of this story time is don't go to no strip club that have broke down parking you know, the white lines that kind of divide the parking spot. They didn't even have that. It was just a lot. And you charged me $20? Uh, mm -mm, not at all. If you guys enjoyed this story time, again, this is a collab. Comment, rate, and remember to subscribe if you are one of those people who came from 
any of the three of these ladies' channels. <laughs> I love y'all so much, and I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. You wanna see some ass? Yeah, why you playing, girl? I wanna see some cash. So what you saying, girl? I said, nigga, you broke. Hold up, broke nigga make me see. Go up, broke bitch is talk too much. Bitch, shut up. 2,500 the ones, I think I'm better off. Make it rain, bitch. I'ma make it rain, yeah. Bitch, do your thing, bitch.